friends, welcome back. If you are new, I am Nikki. I hope that you will consider subscribing. I'm here for you. Why do I always have to snap? Multiple times a week and we are so close to 10,000 subscribers. Subscribe, I'm doing multiple thread up unboxings a month. Actually, I have, you guys, this is embarrassing. I have three designer boxes on the way. One bulk mixed clothing of like 400 pounds and three handbags so subscribe if you like these unboxings because i'll be filming all of them you guys said you want to see them so let's do it thank you to all of you on educating me that these bags are supposed to be three handbags and an accessory i thought i got gypped last time because i got three bags and a little wallet but you guys let me know some of you more aggressive than others <laughs> Some of you were like, it says it when you order it, Nikki, that you're supposed to get an accessory. I was like, okay, girl, my bad. Um, this seems to be like a running theme, a Kate Spade bag. I got a Kate Spade in the last one. Um, that last unboxing was my very first time trying this. I should have told you I paid 100 bucks for this. But then with like shipping and tax, I think it comes up to like 110 this is in really good condition. I'm actually a big fan of Kate Spade purses. I own a couple, like two or three that I've had four years. Their purses last me, I'm not kidding. I think the shortest amount of time I've had one is literally four or five years. I really like the bags. Um, and they're usually leather. Does this one say it's leather? It's so hard to see the tag without. Yep, 100% cow leather. It does have some like marks on the back, but I think I can get that out pretty easily. I'm tempted to keep this. <laughs> I will either keep this for the spring and then send it to thread up to sell, or I'm just gonna send it to thread up. I'm going to do update videos on these unboxings in a couple months on stuff that I sent back to thread up and how much it sold for. Most of this stuff, you guys, I'm not selling myself. I do not like selling Kate Spade or Coach myself. I just cannot get as much for it as I can selling it um, on ThreadUp. I don't even like sending Kate Spade to the real real. FYI, you can send Kate Spade, Tory Burch to the real real, but they price it very low, like very low. I sent them one of my Kate Spade bags that I've had for years that was in perfect condition. And I think they priced it at like 60 bucks. Um, and then I sent a Kate Spade bag, similar bag style, similar condition. And I sold it on ThreadUp and I made a net profit of $180. So I much prefer sending it to ThreadUp. We have a Coach wallet that looks like it is in great condition. I don't want to say it's new, but who are these women or men that can keep this stuff in such good condition. There is some fraying um, around the zipper here, but I mean, literally, it's nothing, it's not a big deal. It's a cute wallet. Nice. This is really, I don't even know that I need to like do much cleaning to this. It's really nice. It is canvas. You know, it's not a leather wallet, but I'll be sending that back to thread up, see what I can get for it. Next, we have a very big Kate Spade tote. It has a little bit of staining on the bottom. And I mean, it's like really tiny. I could easily get that out. So this is really cute. This is the type of bag I used to use when I went into the office every day. I put my lunch in here. These type of bags are great. You can put your personal stuff in there, your lunch. Look at the interior. Who are these people that are so tidy? <laughs> One of you commented, I forget your name, and you were saying how you think it's so gross when you like see some bags of women and it's like so dirty and you're one of these tidy women. Well, you know what? You are amazing, girlfriend, because I could never. My, my used purse would never look this great. This looks amazing. This is in really good condition. I'm tempted to keep this for real estate because when I go do my real estate stuff, I often have my iPad, sign-in sheets, mask, and all that stuff, but... I'm not, I'm gonna send this back to thread up because I could probably make, I'm thinking like 70 to 100 bucks profit. So I'll send that back to thread up, probably more, I don't know. Oh, I love this bag, I own it. Um, 
This is Rebecca Minkoff. I don't even have to look at the tag. I already know. You guys know this is one of my favorite bags I use to when I go thrifting. Mine has longer straps and it doesn't have the gold chain. It's just all leather. But this is a really popular style. This bag, brand new, I think retails for like $250, $300 the last time I checked. I've never seen one with the chain though. Usually the ones I've seen have the leather strap all around. But again, in great condition. Definitely send this back to thread up. This is, I think I would actually carry this more than the blue Kate Spade. This might be one I carry for spring and then clean up and send to thread up. But this is in really good condition. I'm not the biggest fan of the gold chain. Oh, I see, you can make it longer. I was like, why is the chain so long? Yeah, my strap on my blue one is way uh, longer. Oh, so you can, that person just doubled it so the chain was longer. I mean, shorter. Cool, I didn't know you could do that. I wonder if mine can, I really like that bag. Nice, that's in good condition too. Oh boy, we're taking it old school here. We've got an old school blinged out. Look at this stud detail. Jean detail, Michael Kors tote. If this does not say early 2000s, I don't know what does. This is amazing. I think this is amazing, but I would never carry it. But it's cute. I just, this just brings the nostalgia back, friends. <laughs> the interior is in really good condition again. There is, like, the gold is kind of peeling off the Michael Kors here. I wonder if anyone would buy this. This might be one that I actually sell myself and put Y2K in the title because the kids are still enjoying the Y2K trend, friends. And this just screams Y2K. I don't know. I'll have to look up if I can find any recent comps on this exact style. But otherwise, I'll send this back to thread up. But oh, yeah, this totally looks like something I would have carried back in the day. I still have, you guys can make fun of me if you want, but I still have a black leather Michael Kors purse that I still carry every winter. It's literally just black though. It's not flashy like that one. There's no studs or anything. It's 100% leather. It's really old. I thrifted it and I think by the time I got it, it was probably 10 or 15 years old. That bag is amazing. It's huge. It's leather. It's easy to clean. I get it professionally cleaned once a year. Um, so yeah, don't sleep on Michael Kors, you guys. Even the flashy stuff, people still really like it, but if you're looking for a good sturdy leather bag, I mean, try to find the older ones. I feel like they're better quality. The handle is super sturdy. Um, there's no peeling of the leather, no discoloration. I love that bag. So there's a market for it, and there's even a market for that bag. So let's see, we have one, two, three, three bags. I honestly would consider that blue purse a bag. The little Kate Spade, this one. I would consider this a purse, wouldn't you? Or do you call this an accessory? Because I would say technically we got four purses and an accessory with the coach wallet, but I don't know. And isn't this supposed to be three bags and an accessory? I don't know. You guys will correct me down below. Either way, I paid 110 bucks with tax and everything. So what does that come to total? I'm gonna say I got one, two, three, four, five things. 110 divided by five, $22 per bag. I'm happy with that. If I were selling it myself, I would not be happy with that. I could definitely still sell them for a profit, but I'm gonna sell them for so much more on ThreadUp. So hopefully you guys are enjoying these unboxings. I'm gonna have a lot more coming your way, so don't forget to subscribe um, and Definitely subscribe for updates because in like two to three months, I should have numbers for you on what these sold for wherever I end up sending them, whether it's the real real, which I doubt it, thread up or selling them myself. Subscribe. I love you and I'll see you soon. Ciao.